Welcome to the daily study of the way of mastery. Today we continue with lesson one, the way that calls you home, and we'll dive into paragraph 10. And Yeshua says, Then the soul begins to turn from the things of this created world. It begins to withdraw its attention from its attachments to all the things it is called to itself. It begins to transcend its sense of identification with the vibrational frequencies it had only meant to play with and then took seriously. It is seriousness within the mind that is the creation of the ego. And it is great seriousness that holds the vibrations of what you would no longer choose to experience within the field of your being, within the field of your soul. And so what Yeshua is sharing with us is that as we begin to turn from the attachments and the attention that we place on the outside world and all the meaning and the value that we give it, the jobs, the relationship, the money, the validating that we're seeking, all these things that we've been bought into, as we withdraw our attention there, we begin to transcend the sense of identification with these things that were only meant to play with and then we took seriously. This is identity work. This book, this teaching is identity teaching. The, these ideas that we only, these frequencies we only meant to play with and then took seriously, that's the tiny mad idea of separation. We only meant to play with what would it, what could it, what would it look like? Could I do the impossible? Could I be separate from the source of all that is? Could somehow I do that? Could somehow I be an I and all that is, let's call it God, be God, and I be outside? And then we took it too seriously. Well, wait, well, what if that happens? Well, what if I did that? What if I'm doing that right now? And all of a sudden, we invest more and more seriously into this playful thought. And it creates this experience of separation, of suffering, of lack, of not enough, of all the things. And so Yeshua is just inviting us and sharing us what the journey of the soul is, is that we start to remove our attention from these attachments to all these things outside that we've tried to fill this, this emptiness with, this fear with. And so he goes on to the next, the next paragraph. He says, as you as the soul, the individual divine spark, so he's defining the soul as the individual divine spark, Begin to choose to withdraw the attention and the value you have placed upon all things as you learn to simplify the nature of your own consciousness, as you realize that you can surrender into something that seems beyond you and that you can entertain the insane thought of trusting the invisible, you come more and more to be less and less. So he defines the soul as the individual divine spark. As you withdraw your attention and values, we just talked about, we place our attention and value on these things out in the world that we think give us value, that we think define us. As we simplify the nature of our own consciousness, simplify into love. Love is simple. Peace is simple. Presence is simple. As you realize that you can surrender into something, surrendering into God, into love, that seems beyond you. That's the key word there. It seems beyond you, but it's not. It seems like it's this big thing out there, you know, the old, the man in the sky, this ener loving energy that we're trying to get seen by and get validated by. It seems beyond us, but it's not. And that you can entertain the insane thought of trusting the invisible, insane to the ego. Right? It is insane to the ego. How can I have faith? How can I trust in something I can't see with my senses? The physical world, the world of separation, is the world of the senses. If I can't see it, taste it, touch it, feel it, hear it, then it must not be real. So if we can entertain this idea, this insane thought of trust in the invisible, you come more and more to be less and less. Less and less of what? We're going to dive in tomorrow with the next section that is so beautiful but let's just say less and less of what you think you are again this is identity work shifting your attention and the value you place on separateness back to wholeness to oneness to your true identity as an individual divine spark i love you have a great day see you tomorrow